Okay, so talking about uh, Kihon techniques and the basics. Um, we have a Kihon kata that just runs through each of the basics, starting with Soto uke, Uchi uke, Age uke, Geran uke, punches, roundhouse, roundhouse, Shudo with the front snap, Shudo with the front snap, Uruken, side kick, Kagizuki, Uruken, Yokogen, Kagizuki. So it's just a set of simple basic techniques. So right now I'm just working through things that these are. So karate is a close in, close quarters grappling art. So I'm in and I'm making contact. I'm not back here like this, okay? This is where it likes to go, okay? So starting with soto uke, good place to start with soto uke is I can smash here, okay? Or I can smash into here if I need to move her down and then follow up with whatever. Each of these follow up with whatever makes sense, okay? But when you do this technique, your hikite, you never have a shite, never have a dead hand, you always have this pulling hand. So when I'm here, she grabs or something like that, or I have a hold of it, doesn't matter, I'm gonna pull this. That's the beginning. Then I can work whatever from there. So, sotuke. This can work on the outside one too. If I'm in here, smash through here. Okay? So, sotuke. Uchuke. Great. So if I'm in this here, take this, break that. Okay? Don't want to break that, or maybe that's just not a good option. The technique crosses and comes in like this. Okay? There's my technique. Now I can follow with whatever. There's just places. Okay? So that's Uchuke. Bam! From the opposite side arm, because we've got to explore those two. This bends this way. Now I've got these. Now I've did this. Right? A lot of different things. Um, Agayuke comes next. So from here, I'm going to use my hikite to pull down and stretch while I come up through here. Okay? There's my smash, there's my wedge. Some people call that a frame. Uh, the other thing I can do is if I don't have this grip, okay? So we're in, we're moving, is I move this. Okay? So I just lift this up so that I can hit. And then I'm going to pull it down so I can hit, right? So I have Agayuke, Geronuke. Agayuke. Geiranuke in here. Okay, so there are some options for Agiyuki. Now, speaking of Geiranuke, if I'm here, I can pin this to me, I can choose, or if she's got a hold of me, it doesn't matter. I come through Geiranuke. Okay, rotate the elbow out and through. Okay, also, just to break, if you turn this the right way, you're just going to come through that here. Other places that we've got is the same. I move this so that I can hit, and that's just moving this. Right here, get on uh, And then, last but not least, if I end up on this contact here, anytime this happens, I step and here, right? So that's employing the turn seen in many katas where we turn 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and use get on uh, So, punches, okay? Punches in karate look like this, not because I need to have this shite back here, but because I'm going. Ah, pulling on something while I hit you. So that when you move, then I hit you again, and I haven't lost you. I've got options. Uh, roundhouse. Kept those simple because they are simple, right? Usually gonna be inside the leg, inside the knees. You can go higher, but higher takes your balance away more, and takes away uh, some of the power in some cases too. So I like to just come through that leg. Okay. Now the shudo. Shudo's symbol from in here, anytime there's an obstruction. Okay. okay, this resists, resist, coming to the inside, so, or I just come in from here, maybe I'm here, okay, okay, and now you see where these hand positions are, where I'm grabbing and hitting, okay, from further, if I'm in here, maybe she's punching, maybe she's reaching, maybe she's whatever, I move off to the side, and there's my kick, okay, so, even if I just have both of these, this here is still just this. So, ah, there's my kick. You can also move, if I want to get away, move to the outside. Shoot up. Kick. Okay, same things. So I'm just here. Pull. Kick. Uh, Uraken, if I do have distance where I can't reach this, okay, then I can move this so that I can Okay, that's going to be more of a competitive type move, so let me show you something different. 
in a grappling type scenario, if I get in here, pull this through. I'm gonna get a little, I'll turn her real quick. I'm gonna get a hold of here, or that shoulder or whatever. Come through, the leg come through the back. But that technique here is grabbing a hold. Okay. And then the last is this Kagizuki. So you can also do this from further. In here. As I step down here, this Kagizuki position is this arm, arm lock here. Okay. Uh, which can be anywhere I can come into this anytime. If I'm inside, I can also choose to slip this hand behind and hit. And that's a reinforced reinforced punch. This Kagizuki just needs hook punch here. So always maintaining contact, always got grips that I can use to throw techniques so that I know where she is through proprioception and I can add impact through cross power. Thank you.